Yeah. I'm trying to find out what decalcification is. Oh, <laughs> deprive. Oh, um, well, it's in the Constitution of the state of Washington. Yes. But uh, it has a meaning in Hindi. Uh, and then there's something about the penal gland. Yes. <laughs> The disease of progressive and increasing... Oh, the third eye is one of the most mysterious organs in the body. <laughs> a tiny pea-sized mass in the center of the brain, the penile gland, produces hormone melatonin, which helps to regulate our sleep cycles and reproductive hormones. <laughs> you know, I had done some study on the penile gland known as the third eye. Po-po! <laughs> Those reproductive hormones that you should be fucking while gestating? Yes! <laughs> You know, I had an experience a couple days ago. In fact, yesterday I was uh, trying to contact some of those that are angelic readers. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Similar to a psychic reader or a demon reader, one of those that employs angels to give them some sort of insight about their personal life. Yeah. But the penile gland as the third eye of a person's mind. <laughs> Let's say you sewed into it. Yes. Mm-hmm. You had a lizard in your ass, and you thought, well, I'll lizard the penile gland so as to regulate the hormones of various women. Or I'll control the sleep patterns of the population because I don't want you sleeping the way that you used to sleep. There had been a lot of use of electricity to amp the population. And I was having this thought, yes, that could have been my third eye thought. <clears throat> where there is the possibility of the spirituality of the human mind <laughs> influencing the decision-making of those that are sectarian-controlled. <laughs> now, you probably heard about the Mormon way. Oh, Cho, isn't that right, Bruce Hannafy? Ouch! <laughs> Let's say that you had to sew into the third eye, <laughs> and you use a type of technology as if it were an angelic atmosphere. Yes. And you're Mormon, Pope, and uh, it's not the three-fingered Moroni that you've been using. It's the good size of Mormonism. It's that angel Moroni that all Mormons understand were the inspiration of Joseph Smith's uh, Book of Moroni. Fuck. Now, why don't you get me the penile gland of all of those that have been in running start for the last 20 years? <laughs> Very smart women, I'll tell you that, 16 to 18 years old, that... <laughs> They thought it was their hymen that was connected to their cervix because they're virgins, because of their intelligence. Yes! But you decided, well, we're going to control the sleep patterns and we're going to control the third eye and the human mind so as to control the spirituality of the nation. <laughs> you know, I've mentioned some very attractive women that are 35 to 60 years old that happen to be ovulating and they wonder to themselves, well, what is my spirituality? <laughs> Can you, um, well, I'm thinking that gland that controls those hormones might have gotten zoned into. Could you call Mormonism and find out right now?